So this is their uh, color concept, budget build, 360 pounds worth of uh, Mark 3.5, 2001, two liter, 115 horsepower convertible. Uh, these run a 4x100, they have RX2s in 16s uh, with 256 brakes. It comes with like a Mark IV, Mark IV headlights, Mark IV style bumper and stuff like that. I mean, it's, uh, it's been around, so I don't need to go into too much detail. Um, as you can see in the pictures, this was bought on eBay for the grand sum of 360. And, um, and that's it really. So this is gonna be the project, the budget build. Um, so the first thing I did was bought a uh, 75 pound Miltec exhaust system off a of VR, uh, back box and middle box to cap basically, two boxes. Um, just needs the tips to be cleaned. Fitted that the other day. So we picked up this Miltec exhaust system, 75 pounds. So uh, I'm here at my mate Richie's garage and we just gotta uh, quickly just uh, rip off the old one and uh, bolt this on, remove this system. It was an aftermarket system, walkers. <laughs> um, it's not the best system really. You can tell the difference already in the diameter of the pipes. So uh, it's on the ramp. It's a bit dark over there, so uh, yeah, no point filming it almost. But uh, um, I'm going to start putting this up now and hear what it sounds like. Uh, these are the seats. Top strut brace, which uh, had to be modified to clear the TPS switch. So on this side it fits perfectly. But obviously due to the, this is a 4 VR6, so uh, it doesn't fit, but it's hitting the switch here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this off here. And just move it across so it clears. So when, when the engine that I, I'm gonna fit in here, it will clear it with no issues. So uh, let me just go and cut this off now and clean it all up. So there you go. Cut the new speed to make it fit. Pretty straightforward. Piece of cake. Hey, it'll look OEM. So now I'm just gonna grind that off. And we'll carry on welding. Um, what I'm going to do to it though actually, I'm going to uh, probably welding another bar to double it up and put a, a, a brace in the middle to strengthen it up. That has actually made a difference on the convertible. It, you, you do feel the difference on the hardtop, but on this convertible I think uh, definitely shudders less as you go over speed bumps and stuff. It doesn't shake as much. So we're also going to build, just make a, a rudimentary lower one. Uh, two lower ones, the normal one that goes in the front wheel bolts, the front, sorry, the front bolts for the wishbones, and on, and put it on the rear so it ties the chassis legs together as well in the subframe uh, to see if that kind of, it's never going to handle great, but see if it's, it can be improved. Uh, this is the donor car. It's a, uh, a P Reg, which is 1996. So it's the end of end of line, 96, 97. Mark III, 16 valve, ABF, 150 PS. Um, a lot of these come, if, if they're in good condition, actually produce a little bit more than the 150s, one, anywhere between 155 and 160. Um, it has a, uh, at the time I didn't realise, it also has a Scorpion exhaust, two and a half inch uh, as well. It doesn't sound too loud actually, it's really quite quiet. Um, Took the wheels off, it's got these uh, four space savers on because uh, i going to sell these Montreals. Went up on eBay and get rid of those. So basically this is a, uh, the donor car actually cost more than the project car. Um, this was £500, um, which is not bad really for the engine. Some people sell the engine and the, just the, the, the engine for, for more than that. 
Um, the engine's in good nick with this, it's got, got a lot of history. Um, also came with levers, which are going to go up as well for sale. So, what we're going to use off this car? So we're going to use the engine, the box, the DCU and the loom. Uh, we're going to use the 5100 setup. So that's the hubs, the wishbones, anti-row bar. Uh, we're going to use the plus rear rear beam, which is wider and has bigger bushes. Uh, all the bushes are going to be power flexed or polyurethane. Um, so this is going to be running 5100. As well as that, we're going to run, instead of the 288, we're going to run 312s on the front. Instead of the rear setup, we're going to run uh, a hybrid Mark IV setup uh, with the bearing style so we can run the vented 256s on the rear. Um, also, we're going to take the coilovers as well off this to go onto that. Um, and this has got ABS. The ABS off this will go to another project. So the loom on that will be, that's money kind of saved or that'll be used for another project. I'm just trying to see if I can get anywhere between three or 400 pounds out of this. So the engine, basically all the bits I've got those for 100 pounds would be amazing. Um, so let's see if I can recoup as much because obviously this is a budget build. And we're gonna see how much we can recoup off this. We'll keep you up to date as the bits sell and tally it all up as, it, as, as we go along. So you can see uh, what's what. At the moment, this was 360, uh, an MOT was 40 pounds, so that's 400. Uh, the heater matrix was leaking, that was 20 pounds, so that's been replaced. Uh, the exhaust system was 75, so that's 495. The strut brace, I got it off a friend, so I didn't really pay too much for that, I think that was only 20 pounds. Um, so yeah, we're, we're at 500 pounds more or less. Um, so that's where that stands. So at the moment, the project actually stands at a thousand, which is already quite high. But um, I'm going to try and recoup, like I said, 400 out of this to drop it back down to 600 um, and take it from there. So, and this is going to be a bit of musical chairs actually with this situation here because this engine is obviously going to go into this convertible, but this engine actually already has a home which is for another project that we're doing, which is a Mark II uh, restoring it. Um, and it needs an engine in a box. So this engine and gearbox is actually going into a Mark II Golf GTI. Um, it's quite a rare color, it's in silver. Uh, so, that, so that's gonna be a donor for that, and that's a donor for this. So it's gonna be a bit of musical chairs that's gonna happen in the next few months uh, between uh, setups, as well as all this 256 and wishbones and all that, the, Breaks it up on this is actually going to go onto the Mark II, so it's actually stuff moving around. There's a lot of a lot of moving around, but uh, we'll keep you all up to to speed with that. Um, so yeah, so these seats are for sale. Uh, message if you're uh, interested in these, they're going cheap. They're heated. Uh, they're for VR. Uh, off a two door. Well, that seat is anyway. Let me see what the other one is. Oh, yep, and so they uh, it's missing the bit here, but yep, so they for two door car, so they'll fit two and four door. Um, they're going cheap, so message me if you're interested, um, as well as if you're interested in anything else. There's no rust on the doors, on the boot lid, bumpers are fine. Just want to kind of get rid of as much as we can, as quickly as we can, and you've got these wheels. As well, they need a good refurb. Got decent tyres on them. Maybe a replacement for someone running around. The winter wheels, perfect. Maybe. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll keep you up to date as uh, bits come in and stuff. And hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> I can keep to the schedule of uh, a video a month this time, and uh, and keep you up to speed with that as that gets dismantled. That as bits get put onto that and the Mark II project, which will obviously be another video, um, which we're gonna start on that as well. Okay, thanks for watching again, and a happy new year. Yeah. 2020 is gonna be great.